legends. I'm here in Bright on a work trip. I came up here a couple of days early so I could do some fishing. I've got my um, my Daiwa rod with me. It's a Shinobi one to three kilo, thousand reel on it. And um, I'm gonna pair it up with some Daiwa J Braid X4 and some Black Magic Leader six pound. Same as the J Braid. So that's all I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna get the, the rod ready. I'll have a bit of a fish tomorrow. Give us 10 minutes and I'll have this all spooled up with a lure on the end, ready to flick tomorrow. Cheers. Shout outs to uh, Intense Off-Road for the um, Wicked Stubby holders. Cheers guys. Also just want to point out that I'm no pro fisherman or anything like that. I've barely caught a couple of fish in my life, but what I do use every time I go fishing, the waterproof book of knots. This thing gets me out of so much shit when I'm trying to tie a lure, tie a line to line, um, tie a line onto the reel. And that is 135 meters of Daiwa J Braid X4 yellow six pound. Now I'm going to chuck on some Black Magic Leader. I tend to just put on seven foot, which is usually the, the length of my rods. <clears throat> I just use a pretty standard double uni knot for joining leader to line. I know it's not favored by a lot of guys who take this a lot more seriously than myself, but it's quick, it's easy. I do about six or seven wraps, um, nothing crazy. Cinch it down. This is in no way a instructional video. There's plenty of those out there if you wanna look them up. That's a pretty nice, slim, good knot. Next up, I'm going to feed the line through the guides and tie a lure on. Alright. I think I'll just tie on a, um, uh, maybe a pink tazzy devil. Trout love them. A little bit of a pattern on the underside. Pink tazzy on the line. All ready to roll for the morning. So I'm here in beautiful Paul Punker. I've got the river behind me. I'm gonna set up the fishing rod and flick some lures around. Fingers crossed we can get a trout or something, whatever's in the ovens river. for about 40 minutes now with uh, no success, a Diff few different retrieval methods. Uh, so I'm gonna switch it out for Mips Thunderbug. One of those little dudes. So, fingers crossed, he'll deliver some more. Awesome. Put it all tight and cut the tag end off. See how he goes. This is the lead challenge. So the Ovens River in Porpunka was a bust. The trout were not biting on the pink tassie or the MEPS Thunderbug, so I had no other choice but to move on. So I was following this road which um, leads to the river, it does have river access, I believe, according to Google Maps, and I come across this um, nasty little puddle. I'm in a work van, high ace, which isn't a four wheel drive, 
So I'm just going to jump out and have a suss and see how far the river is. I may even end up just parking here and walking to the river. Pretty firm, but it's also pretty deep. It's probably going to be over the centres of my wheels, which I don't want to go doing. Um, considering, like I said, it's a work van, I can't afford to be getting out here and bogged. Oh man, what a spot! So I found this supreme little spot where um, I'm going to do some fishing. I've parked the work van just up the road. Heading back to the car now, grab the rods, tackle bag, and flick some lures around, see if I can catch some trout. This is the Lee Challenge. This spot is a bust. And I'm nearly out of memory card as well, so I'm gonna head into town, see if I can find somewhere to buy a new memory card. As it turns out, the memory card was full. I didn't have any backups, rookie error, should have prepared better. The rest of this video is a quick little snippet that I caught on my iPhone as I landed a little brown trout in the Kiwa River just near Tawonga. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the trip was purely work. So, until next time, keep it real guys, see you soon. This is the Lee Challenge.